Fish 2091, what do you think about InstaGTO? Have you tried that program? I haven't personally tried it, but my partner Scott has tried it. It's a really good, uh, it's a really good program because it actually makes learning fun. Like you can just plug in a spot where you have a leak and you can kind of just blast through it. So it seems really cool. Sayo Goji, Jack, when, when you are playing too many days and you are break even all those days, how do you deal with it in the mental game? Good question. Good question. Uh, I think the best, the best way to deal with mental game like that is that you don't rely on poker winnings or how poker is going for your overall happiness. So what I mean by that is like you have to have other things going on in your life so that when you are going through a rough stretch at poker, you can fall back on, let's say, like the great relationship that you have with your girlfriend or your friends or the fact that you're progressing at the gym or the fact that you're progressing um, your knowledge with audiobooks or, or, or actual books or like just so you have other things going on in your life that you can feel positive about so that when poker goes bad, it's not like your whole world falls apart. Like you have other things as well going on in your life that will kind of lift you up a little bit and you won't feel it as much because if poker is the only thing kind of controlling all of your emotions, you're going to go on a lot of, uh, a lot of roller coasters. I'm not saying I'm, I'm completely immune to swings, which I'm not, I mean, I'm not completely immune to swings, but like I said, like if, if poker is going bad, maybe I'll just turn my focus towards like, Oh, you know, I, I went to the gym, you know, five times a week for the past, you know, who knows how long, or, uh, you know, things are going well with my girlfriend or, you know, uh, let me just go hang out with some friends or whatever. So it's kind of like, first of all, accepting the fact that poker is going to go bad sometimes. Accepting that, that's first step. And then realizing that you need to have other things, um, other major kind of pillars in your life to uh, to look forward to and, and, and to kind of uh, offset the uh, downswings or the break-even stretches with poker. Photo Michael. Hey Jack, what is the most important thing to master to switch from heads up to spins, low stakes? Three-handed play, man. <laughs> you got to master three-handed play. There's there's very specific strategies. Uh, you got to learn to understand the GTO strategies for three-handed play. Because small blind versus big blind, three-handed button versus big blind. There's like whole different dynamic there, and whole different starting ranges, which which changes the uh, post-flop GTO game in a huge, huge way. So definitely want to start focusing on your three-handed uh, studying for sure. I just came up with an idea actually. I'm going to make a YouTube video about what my schedule looks like every day just so... Uh, just to just to let you uh, let people know and understand that you can do a lot more like every single person in here including myself can do so much more with your day it's insane like how productive you can be is just like it's off the charts it's insane we all could be so much more productive like i told you my schedule i go from I'm, I'm on from like nine in the morning till 11 which is like a 14 hour day I'm like either studying, coaching, or grinding throughout that whole period, uh, three days a week. And I think it's important to know, like if, if we set our, ourselves up, we can be probably, some of us can be like two times, three times, five times, 10 times more effective if you just get your schedule right and you cut out all the bullshit in your life that is kind of wasting your time and not uh, leading you towards your goals. So I remember I heard Gary Vaynerchuk say this one one, one day. It's like uh, audit your life, like do an audit on your life. Just kind of see like what am I doing each day? Why am I wasting all this fucking time? And just stop, stop doing those things that are time wasters. Like it's nice to watch, you know, TV sometimes, Netflix or whatever, but you should definitely not get carried away with it. You want to minimize that. It also depends what your goals are, right? If you have huge goals and you're watching a lot of Netflix, it's, it's just not going to cut it. <laughs> 